Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So behind the storm that's rotating out of Colorado, New Mexico right now, we have three additional storm systems in the pipeline in this cycle through 4-3. And that does mean heavy snow for a lot of places. You can see the timeline for the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado. And I added the Northeast back in because now it looks like we might get some heavy snow in the Northeast on 4-2. I'll show you what that looks like in my forecast coming up. But I want to take you over a water vapor satellite imagery here this afternoon and just kind of point out what's going on. So again on this, your moisture loft is in the whites, the blues, the greens. There's our storm system kind of pivoting out of New Mexico and Colorado, and you can see what it's doing out here in the heartlands, producing a lot of weather. But that's going to be moving away. Now behind it, there's another area of low pressure here, another one be behind that, and there's probably even one more off of satellite. All of this is going to be guided into the interior. It's going to move in through the Intermountain West with the jet stream. Here's the latest jet by the close of business today. You can see the big trough over the Intermountain West with our current storm. And even on the back side, jet's wide open, so there's another storm coming. And it's a smaller storm, but it will refire the snow across the Intermountain West on 326. So there's your jet on 326. Here comes the next storm system. It mainly goes across the northern tier. Then the final storm digs to the south through California and then makes a run through the southern tier to the four corners, 4142, and then it's gone by the time we get into 43 and beyond. And potentially another storm system. You can see it diving south through parts of British Columbia into the Pacific Northwest there on 43. All right, looking at the forecast uh, radar here and satellite, that's 530 today. You can see there's some leftover snow in Colorado, New Mexico, some lighter snows up through parts of uh, the Tetons and the Wasatch. Okay, so by tomorrow morning, there we go. And there's that, that next storm system, refiring the snow across the Intermountain West. Idaho, Montana, uh, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. That's on 326 in the afternoon. And then that weakens and moves away. Here comes the next storm, and it largely goes across the northern tier. But what it does is it lays down a heavy band of snow right across the, uh, the Wasatch on 328 and 329. Um, and it's kind of in and out of the Tetons at times as well and kind of brushes the central and northern mountains of Colorado. But I'm thinking heavy snow accumulation, 328 and 329 in the Wasatch. If this continues to line up this way, the lift will really generate some great, uh, some great snowfall. Okay, here we go into 330. Uh, here comes the final storm coming out of California. And then that one moves down through the southern tier and into the four corners and becomes a Colorado storm for a little while and then it all moves away. Here comes the maybe a new storm system with a different storm cycle by 4-3 coming out of BC and the Pacific Northwest. All right, latest grand total map looks like this. So by late 4-3, I've got roughly one to two feet for the Tetons coming, but potentially three feet or more for uh, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. It assumes that we get this perfect setup with Aura Graphics on Thursday and Friday. Um, and I'll show you by time period what I'm talking about. But in Colorado, um, grand totals are anywhere from 6 to 12 inches. A lot of that comes pretty late in the period. Um, in California, 1, 2, maybe 2 and a half feet of accumulation. Interior BC and Banff numbers have crept up. Now looking at potentially 5 to 10 inches of accumulation there. All right, looking at it by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow, most of what you see in the Wasatch comes tomorrow with moderate, light to moderate snow accumulation. Leftover snows in Colorado and northern New Mexico, pretty light. Okay, second time period is big, and this is what I was talking about. 327 through 329. I think we could end up with two feet in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon, six to eight in the Tetons, one to four, maybe one to five in the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and about a foot in the Sierra. Okay, final time period. This is 3.30 through 4.3. We could add another eight to 16 in the Wasatch, uh, potentially six to 12, five to 12 up in the Tetons. And uh, there are your snows in Colorado with that final storm system, potentially 6 to 10 central and southern mountains in those corridors. Okay, let's go to the northeast. So again, with the addition of this one storm system around, I believe, 4-2, we could see 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. Again, it's a long way out. 
This assumes that that storm um, tracks perfectly. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if this plays out because this morning and most of yesterday I had nothing for the Northeast. Okay, we'll end on the grand total map here. Again, by late 4-3, there's some real bullseyes here. Tetons, Wasatch, potentially Tahoe down to Mammoth, and a bit of snow in Colorado as well. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this afternoon Mountain Weather Update. Always appreciate it and take care.